Did you know placing a quartz crystal in your kitchen where you cook can make the food taste better? Try it and let me know if it works. Random things in my kitchen that just make sense. If you're a kitchen witch. A mortar and pestle and unusually ornate tea strainer. A ridiculous amount of citrus and none of it will go bad. Plants. Kitchen witch soap. Here's the brand if you're interested. If I were a spice girl, I think I would be every spice. A few crystals depending on what I need that day. A green candle because I'm working on growth. Some flower petals drying out for a jar spell. A couple of kitchen bats. And always some delicious food and drink made with- This is an absolute 10 out of 10 for me. I highly recommend it. Today I'm going to make some lemon lavender cookies. Lavender is for love, joy, peace, protection, happiness, and luck. And I want my family to feel all of those things. I'm going to grind the lavender up so I can put it in some sugar and make some lavender sugar. Sugar just sweetens the deal, or in this case, the spell. I am then going to beat some butter, add that lavender sugar right on in there, then some vanilla for love, egg for protection. I want my family to feel all of these things. Next, I am going to add in some flour and you know, the other baking powder stuff. Um, it, it gets hard to mix, so I just use my hands. Now I'm gonna roll those into balls, um, very unevenly, but whatever. Time for the icing. We're gonna put some milk and powdered sugar, some of that lavender together, and lemons for happiness, joy, love, and healing. Mix that until you get this kind of consistency. And here they are, not very pretty, but they're good. Let's make some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Sugar sweetens the deal in the spell. Eggs are for fertility, growth, protection. Save those shells for spells, that rhymes. Butter is historically sacred and great for offerings. And pumpkins are great for wish, magic, love, prosperity, and protection. Now stir those intentions in clockwise. Next, we're gonna use flour, which is historically for abundance and rebirth just because wheat and flour um, grew so fast. Cinnamon is for courage, luck, money, protection, and love. Sea salt is for protection. Throw some over your left shoulder for good. Good luck. Stir your intentions in once again. Now we are going to add in some milk. I use oat milk. That's for health and abundance. Um, and chocolate. Measure that with your heart. It's for all kinds of love. And it also is for nurturing relationships. Um, my scoops are kind of big because I like really big soft cookies. Uh, they're perfect for tea time. <laughs> Here they are. Super soft and yummy. The recipe is in the comments. You know how I'm always telling you guys to save your eggshells when we're cooking or baking? This is why. We're going to put it in a bowl of water and this is going to allow us to strip the membrane off of the inside of the egg. It's going to be this like rolled up white part here in a little bit. Uh, we have to get rid of that or it's going to be really, really hard to grind the egg. So yeah, there it is right there. And then I put these in a jar for a couple of days just to dry out really well. And honestly, because I forget about them, that's why it takes a couple days. And then I go ahead and grind them up into a fine powder and I use this powder in various protection spells. Hi loves, today I'm making lavender tea bread and I wanted to show you all. Unfortunately, I couldn't share the detailed recipe in only a minute, so I'm going to put the link of the recipe in the comments and I really recommend that you try making it. This is definitely going to be one of my go-to desserts to make from now on. It has the most delicious and fragrant lavender taste and the lemon glaze is to die for. It's amazing paired with a cup of tea. But I also wanted to use this video to take a second to thank you all so much for the kind comments and messages you send me. It means the world to me and I cannot thank you enough. I am so grateful for your encouragement and the community we are creating. My DMs are always wide open and I truly enjoy getting to know you all, so please feel free to message me. I appreciate all of you. Kitchen Witch Tip, add all of your herbs and spices with intention. Right now I'm adding salt with the intention that is going to protect me and my family. Today we're going to make something fruity. Strawberries are ruled by Venus, so they bring in love, especially self-love, good luck, and fertility. We're going to put them in a bowl and mix them up with sugar. Sugar is, um, it's just, it sweetens the spell, sweetens the deal. I love sugar. My soul loves it. I love baking since doing these videos. My soul's been happy, but my autoimmune disease does not like sugar. Anyway, we're going to use some mint. Mint was sacred to the Celts for many reasons. Now we're going to move on to the batter. I'm going to put cinnamon and vanilla in this, like I do everything for love, protection, courage, and luck. And there is the recipe 
recipe, I'm going to grease this pan with butter, put in the batter, and then the strawberries always on top of the batter. And we baked it, and there we go. Now we're going to make some whipped cream. It's just powdered sugar and heavy cream. Cream is good for soothing energies, nurturing, and increasing your spirituality. And here we go. Add more mint on top for a nice refreshing flavor. Here is a super simple bit of kitchen magic you can do. If you're anxious about being level-headed or emotionally stable for the day, toast some bread in salted butter. Bread gives us really nice stability, and the transformative act of toasting it helps to fortify that stability a little bit more. And salted butter brings in a protective barrier, so our stability isn't compromised. Okay, so I make these little pizzas, and with the pepperoni, I make a Celtic Trinity protection sigil. And then I go out to my garden, and I pick some basil leaves. I thank it for letting me use its leaves. I put protection and tension into it, and I make another Trinity sigil. Now, we're going to go over to my kitchen witchery sign, and we will see that basil is used for protection. And it is also used for wisdom. My finger looked funny there. It's used for money. And it is also used for courage. And that is how easy kitchen witchery is. So go ahead and screenshot this sign and you can practice your own kitchen witchery.